everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome to some brand new gameplay here on the channel. So this is an absolutely adorable looking game called Ever Oasis. Now it has been on my radar for quite some time now, thanks to you guys, my awesome Team GGK viewers. And apparently it is similar to a game that I've previously covered on the channel called Fantasy Life. I think most of you watching this will have subbed to me from Fantasy Life. I absolutely loved that game. It was such a great series for the channel and such a charming, adorable game to play. So if Ever Oasis is similar, then it's definitely going to go down well. <laughs> so if you do like what you see and you do want me to cover this as a series on the channel, then make sure you are supporting this video and future videos of Ever Oasis by liking and of course commenting as well because that stuff really, really matters guys it shows me that you are enjoying it and you do want to see more so obviously this is the demo I haven't played any of this yet I am going into this completely blind for the very first time for you guys while recording so that I can express my true thoughts and opinions so let's go ahead and dive in guys I'm so excited to play this and by the way, I'm recovering from a cold. This is like day five, so I apologise if I have to clear my throat a little bit. And I will be taking quite regular drinks, guys. But since the game is releasing in like two days, I really wanted to do some gameplay of this demo so that we can get a little bit of a taste. A little bit of a taste. What's that? Is that a penguin? I don't even know. <laughs> Long ago, the world of Vistrata? Vistrata? I'm just going to say Vist for short. <laughs> was lush and green, brimming with life until an entity known as Chaos scorched the land. The artwork is really nice, guys. Look how adorable the creatures are. I can just tell I'm going to love this game already. Under the dark influence of chaos, gentle creatures became twisted and cruel. All trace of greenery vanished. Ooh, so it like manipulated the living creatures and turned them evil. We cannot allow this to stand, guys. We will save the day and be a hero. A special seedling with the ability to grow new life from parched land allied with the water spirit Esna, together they grew a small yet fertile oasis. Oh, it's so cute! Look at it! <laughs> the water spirit is really pretty as well. Water spirit waifu maybe? Hmm, let me know if you agree in the comment section guys. That oasis is the sole remaining haven in this unforgiving land. Each day the heroic seedling and Esna work to grow the oasis with the hope that desolate wanderers might find refuge and a place to call their own. So like, as far as I know it is very town management like. Uh, but look how vibrant and beautiful it is right off the bat, guys. Esna, thanks to your help, te Tehu? Tehu? I don't know. Te tetu? I can't say it. Let's say Tet for short. This oasis has become a big, bustling place. I want a lot of folks to come and help make this the most fabulous oasis ever. Oh, by the way, guys, for those of you that did watch my Fantasy Life Let's Play, I did do voices for that. I'm not a voice actor, I just did it for fun. But since I am still recovering from a cold, I'm not going to do it for this demo. Um, so hopefully I am fully recovered for the full version of the game and I will try and do voices, guys, because I know you did get quite a kick out of that. But obviously I don't want to wreck my throat even more. <laughs> what kinds of adventurers will meet today? Will we meet today? I can't wait to find out. Neither can I. I want adorable, adorable creatures, please. I'm just going to pour myself another drink, guys. I do apologise. I know it's not very professional, but uh, oh, I really wanted to do this demo. And I've had like five sick days already, so... And it sucks. It sucks. It's taken me forever to recover from this damn cold. 
I've got so many meds. I've got like a whole medicine cabinet on my bed. <laughs> oh, Evia, adorable. Phew, thank goodness there's an oasis here. I don't know how much longer I would have survived out there. Well, yeah, it's a desert at the end of the day. I wouldn't want to get lost in a desert. And I would just not survive because I just burn and get all flaky and just shrivel up and wait to die. <laughs> That's how I would deal with a desert. I would not survive whatsoever. Okay, a nervous seedling girl who specialises in making drinks. Oh, wow, that's awesome. <laughs> Give me a drink, I'm so parched in this desert. Information about the seedling, Evia, has been registered. She's so cute. Oh, I love the characters already, guys. They're adorable. <laughs> it looks like someone is already here. You should go see who it is. Right, Water Spirit is definitely Waifu, it's decided. Hands down, Water Spirit is Waifu. Right, am I gonna have to use the touch screen to uh, do stuff? So let me just... To do, events that are important to the story at Flow are displayed in red. Traveller has arrived. It seems a traveller has arrived at the Oasis. You should go say hello right away. And then it shows where they are on the map. Okay. Heal. Healing fruit. I've got two of them. Restores 20 HP. And then menu is start. Okay, so let's just go through all of this straight off the bat. Status. Tet. Tet is the character that I'm controlling now. I do believe that we get other characters into the team and we can switch between controlling the different characters and they all have special abilities and unique ways of fighting um, and I think unique in field abilities you know what I mean where you can manipulate the environment and stuff like that so that's very exciting I guess there's going to be some kind of basic puzzle solving elements in this game perhaps right so Oasis Chief basic parameters and there we go we've got the stats there equipment leaf blade stone bracelet we've got none at the bottom passionate turban <laughs> we're passionate about that turban chief's clothes as well skills green gales send forth a vortex of wind Ooh, so i'm guessing we do have elemental damage in this game then maybe each character that we get will have their own special element Weapon actions, we've got one attack with A and A again for two attacks as well. X is another attack, I'm guessing like one's a light attack and one's a heavy attack, but we'll have to wait and see when we're in the field for that I guess. Right, so residents. So we've got quite a few residents already. Oh my god, Lily is so cute, guys! This game is so cute! Why? Why is it so cute? <laughs> Profile, a cheerful seedling girl who became the first resident of your oasis. I need to take more drinks. I'm still recovering. Fulfillment, juice shop, uh, beast defense plus and scaled defense plus. Scaled defense? I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean we're more resistant to lizard-type enemies? I don't know. Pammy, a somewhat bashful young man. He is doing his best to live optimistically. I'm so sorry, Pammy. I assumed your gender. I thought Pammy was female. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sasha, a woman skilled at mining. She moisturises often so her skin is extremely glossy. <laughs> I suppose that's a good thing though, because if she has to slip through a really small cavern, she's all slimy and she can wiggle her way through and take a pickaxe and mine in a really rare spot. That sounded wrong, actually. <laughs> that sounded worse than it was meant to. Um, <laughs> Rotto, I think? Profile, a cheerful, good-natured boy who is interested in growing vegetables. Nice. Um, Said? Said? I'm so sorry if I say any of these names incorrectly. I don't intend on insulting anyone if your name is the same. I just try my best to pronounce it, but I apologise uh, if it is wrong. A cheerful, lively young man who sells balls. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, he isn't bothered by much. Except his balls. 
guests is Evia, so that's who we need to go and see. We've already read that. Rumours, we don't have any. Registered. Ah, I see. So when they become registered, that's when they become residents then. Okay, so that'll be the next task that we need to do. Buildings. We've got a fruit shop. We've got a pinwheel shop. I have no idea what that is. Twig pinwheel. No clue, guys. <laughs> I don't know what that does. Blanket shop. We've got a veggie shop. We've got a ball shop. I don't know what these are. Um... Hang on, do we actually have these already? Or not? Because build, I would assume, means the option to build them now. But it doesn't say when we whether we already have these yet. I'm not going to mess around with this right now because I'm guessing it will show us a bit more about that a little bit later. So tasty tree, artsy plant, bench plant. Ha, ah, cool. <laughs> Hump cactus. Why does that sound so wrong? <laughs> I would not want to hump a cactus, just saying. Melody wheel and trampoline. Oh my god, so cute. And sand road. So they do have special effects there. So the melody wheel increases the number of red newts who visit your oasis. I don't know what newts are. Trampoline increases the number of newts who visit your oasis. Is that the name of the creatures or the, you know, the people in this game? Newts, then, I'm guessing. Newts would make sense, actually. Um, don't newts live in the desert, I think? I don't know. I thought they lived in watery areas, actually. Salamanders and um, Komodo dragons live in the deserty type areas. So we've got this as well, so Tasty Treat slightly increases sales of bloom booths, selling food if planted nearby. Artsy Plant slightly increases sales of bloom booths, selling fashion if planted nearby. Bench Plant slightly increases sales of bloom booths, selling novelties if planted nearby. Ah, so you can give like your shops a bonus almost, so that's pretty cool. And then we've got Hump Cactus. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Increases sales of bloom booths selling food if planted nearby. Okay, um, I think we're done here. So let's have a look at the Oasis panel. So it's at the third level. Current residents are six. Residents to next level one. So we just need to speak to that new visitor there as well. HP increase. Yes, I heard about this. So when you rank up and level up your oasis, it affects the stats of the characters that you take out into the field. So I have read up a little bit about this game, guys, but if you're new to my channel and if you're old to my channel, um, I'll just go over this anyway. Usually I like to read very limited information because I do like to go in blind and just enjoy the game as I go along and experience it on the go. That's just the kind of personality that I have when it comes to games. So let's have a look at things. Leopard furball. Wadded up ball of fur from a not so friendly beastie. Snake skin. A piece of shed skin lined with stripes. Kind of gross, kind of cool. <laughs> is it? Vote in the comment section. Is it cool or is it gross? Let me know guys. <laughs> Petrified branch. Fossil of an ancient tree branch. Elite pepper, glorious bell pepper, homegrown. Wow. Elite pepper, not just any pepper, an elite pepper. <laughs> White options as well. Camera is normal and left and right is normal. So you can reverse it if you choose as well. Right, so I think we're done here now, guys. So let's go ahead. It does show us in the bottom right hand corner for you guys on the minimap where we need to go, which is cool. Ooh, hello. Press and hold Y, then release to perform Green Gale. Right, it's been a while since I used the 3DS, I had to check the buttons. <laughs> Yay, make a path! Let's keep this road nice and tidy. We want people to enjoy our oasis, guys. That was really bad aim, Kylie. <laughs> that was shameful. Good job there was no one here watching that. Well, other than new viewers, of course, but no residents. <laughs> That's what matters. Show 
more explore to any of these, I wonder. Let's let's give it a go. What is that? Is that is that a pigeon? That's so cute. Yeah. Yo, Tat, how are you feeling today? Hellos and goodbyes only make us stronger, apparently. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if talking to them actually does anything then. Oh, that was adorable, guys. This is so cute. I kind of want to interact with these buildings, though. Hang on a second. That's the tasty treat. That's the pinwheel shop. Let's have a look. Even on hot days, a pinwheel can cool things down a bit, usually. Ah, so the pinwheel shop is what sells drinks then. Okay. Speaking of drink, <laughs> drinking from the awesome Team GGK Morgan guys. The one and only, actually. I need to start selling these again. You have four. I'm not going to do any of this yet. Let's chat. Newts are really strange, aren't they? The way they come to shop without saying words and all. I'm not really great at chit chat, so I think their silence puts me kind of at ease. That's not really good. As a shopkeeper, you need to be pretty good at small talk. You need to make your guests feel welcome and like they feel kind of more willing to spend money when you make your guests happy. Come again? I can't really give you any special treatment though. Just the normal, wonderful treatment. <laughs> Okay. That's a bit like, uh, I don't know, blowing your own trumpet, I guess. <laughs> My treatment is amazing. Oh! What does that even do? Oh, ho, ho, so cute! <laughs> I don't even know what it does, but it's adorable. It does cuteness, that's what it does, guys. <laughs> Right, let's hop off now. And then we've got this bench as well. Can I go on that? I can't seem to interact with the bench, guys. Fruit shop. Oh, hello. Welcome to Lily's Fruit Shop. Lily is like my favourite town resident at the moment, guys. She's absolutely adorable. If I'm with you, you'll receive less damage from beast-type chaos monsters. Isn't that neat? Oh, so you can take any of the residents with you. I thought it was like special story characters. Hmm, that's interesting. Or at least that's the assumption that I'm taking from that little bit of text. Tet, please tell everyone about my sweet little fruit shop and its adorable owner. I will. I will, don't you worry. Right, we're almost there. It's just outside here, guys. Profile. Mi mirror? Mir I'm just gonna say me for sure. Me? A Drauk warrior seeking her young sister who left to train and never returned. Wow. So it is female then. I think the eyelashes kind of gave it away. <laughs> well, let's not be judgmental there. There are guys that have fabulous eyelashes. I've seen you boys. Some of you have amazing eyelashes and you make the ladies jelly. <laughs> Seeing young children always reminds me of my sister who disappeared. Oh, hopefully we can help me a little bit. Welcome, I'd love you to buy a bunch of things. He's got amazing facial hair. <laughs> he wins the facial hair game, definitely. Okay, so Papa Seed, plant in your garden to grow elite peppers. Wind up plant seed. Increase sales of bloom booths selling fashion if planted nearby. Fresh leaf blade. Oh, that's a weapon. We've actually got that equipped. I remember reading that earlier. Nut ring. So we could actually get this, I think, because we don't have it. So hang on a second. Cancel. I got items unlike anything your wee beady eyes have ever seen, friend. If there's ever anything you want that you can't find elsewhere, it's probably in this jumble of wares I hide under my turban. <laughs> okay, hopefully it's not sweaty under there, just saying. Thank you for your patronage. Right, hang on a second. Um... 
So how do I change equipment then? Here we go, equipment. It's not letting me do that right now. I might have just wasted my money on that ring. <laughs> I don't have access to equipment guys, so sadly I can't equip that ring, I apologise. I did not know, okay? This is a blind demo playthrough. Hey Chief, how's it going? Working hard as usual, I bet? Thank you, I am. I'm working to make this place fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Here we go. New visitor. Hello, I'm Evia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Evia. Have we actually got horns on our character? It looks like horns, or is that just like the headdress? I don't know. <laughs> I was just about to- Ow! Sorry! I just bit my tongue from hard. <laughs> from <Pahad. laughs> I've been wandering in the desert for ages. I'm gonna die at first. If I had five cactus pulp from one of the cacti back out there, I'd be able to make a drink, but I don't, so... I guess I need to go and get the materials. <laughs> Fetch quest for the win! <laughs> it's so wonderful to have yet another new traveller visiting us. Her name was Evia, yeah? Heh, <laughs> did I startle you? So sorry. I suppose I did just appear out of thin air and start ta talking your ear off. I wouldn't say talking my ear off. That's an exaggeration. I feel like I've been talking your ears off <laughs> with how much I've been commentating on this video, but there we go. Um, this water orb that little Kirpri Kirp Kirp carries is infused with my power. I'm able to see and hear you through it, Tet. I'm butchering all the names of these characters, I'm so sorry. Pretty neat, don't you think? I'm just like kind of shortening most of them because they're difficult to say. So anyway, it sounds like she wants five cactus pulp, huh? Why don't you help Evia out and go get some for her? I bet she'd be so happy. I definitely need to get another drink, guys. <coughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for clearing my throat. I apologise. Uh, that's like the first time I've done it on this video, though, so to be fair, I'm doing well, considering. Okay, when a traveller likes the oasis, he or she may become a resident. Seedling residents can build bloom booths in the oasis. Having a variety of merchandise available at bloom booths will draw more travellers to the oasis. Nice. Did I hear you're going out to get some cactus pulp tats? Oh, yay! Me! Mi Miora. Miora? I think that's how I say it. I think that's probably better than saying just me, so I'm gonna go Miora. I'm probably gonna forget her name. For those of you new to the channel, I have a memory like a fish. When it comes to names, I struggle to remember names. So, <laughs> just throwing that out there right now. <laughs> have you heard where to get it? Ah, let me be of assistance then. You can harvest some by cutting down cacti just outside the oasis. Sweet! Let's chop those cacti! You're a great chief, Tess. You always work so hard to ensure everyone here in the oasis is content. That's kind of the responsibility of a good chief, making sure everyone's happy, everyone's safe, there's plenty in the town, and the town flourishes. Of course there's more jobs than that, but I'm just summarising. I want to help out. I'd love to tag along too. My spear and I could use some practice on the battlefield. Oh, so she's a spear user. That's so freaking cool. I normally don't like using spears in games, but I'm totally up for an AI companion to use a spear. Miora joined the party. Yay! We have two people to play with. Awesome. Or two creatures, I guess is more accurate. Right, so out we go. That's where the arrow is telling us to go, so let's venture outside into the desert wasteland. Wow, 
raw dudes? Hey, as long as they're not a giant massive worm coming out of the sand with teeth. <laughs> you should know that reference, come on. We're okay. <laughs> Tet, stay on your guard against the chaos monsters beyond our oasis. If you're in over your head, there's no shame in turning tail and fleeing. Choose your battles wisely. Okay, you can engage in battle while outside. A is light attack and X is heavy attack. So I was correct in that then. I'm not sure if I got them the right way around, but I did say there would be a light and a heavy. And B is dodge. And L is lock onto an enemy or reposition the camera. So that's basic controls really, which is pretty nice. Fantasy life was similar in that respect. Right, so it's said that we have to chop down Cacti, so let's go ahead over here. I see you. I see you, spiky vegetation. Yeah. Oh my god, the combat is amazing. I love it already. <laughs> it actually runs pretty smooth as well. You did it, Ted. You took out that chaos monster like nobody's business. Uh huh, girlfriend. <laughs> Oof, did you end up with any injuries? Don't forget to use recovery items often, so it is on the touch screen, guys. So I might have to glance this down because of my recording setup, but uh, I'm sure I'll get used to its positioning eventually. Defeating enemies. When you defeat an enemy, the enemy may drop materials that you may then deliver to blue booths. Each enemy drops a specific type of or types of materials. Tap the upper right icon on the touch screen to access the recovery item selection screen. I, I really slurred my words there. Selection screen, money panel. Be sure to use your recovery items when you're in danger. I'm so excited to play this game. I think it's pretty obvious by my commentary. I'm just talking so much. I'm also like trying to power through um, my sore throat because of having this cold. <laughs> I feel like if I talk yes. more, yes. my throat will be like, oh, I give up being sore. She's talking so goddamn much. <laughs> because that's how the body works. <laughs> it's science. Oh. Yes. Right, so there's my heavy attack there. Damn. So it flashed up um, red, that heavy yes. attack the number inside. I wonder if that means it's critical or if it's always like that with heavy. Let's try it on this enemy over here. I think we might have got what we need actually. Right so we've got four I think and we need five. So we're almost done. So it does it again. Oh no, okay, so it's always red no matter what you attack with. Leopard furball, nice. Can we attack this somewhere? Or... Right, so I don't actually need to have hold L. It stays locked on if you just tap it. Oh sweet, so I can That is a new damage, so I don't think it's good guys, I just wanted to tag that one. Ooh, we've got new enemies, we've got Snack! Snackers! <laughs> Snackalackers! Look, there's a shark cobra! Oh my god! It's a shark! And a baby! And a baby? Sorry, a shark and a snake merged together. If a shark and a snake had a baby, that's that's where I was going with that, but I got too excited and I just said, a shark and a baby! <laughs> oh my god, Kylie. Anyway, with those shark fans, it's a formidable foe. But Shark Cobra, that is such an awesome name, I love it. I'm no match for my spear. I'll make quick work of these. Okay, watch for an enemy's attribute icon when you lock on with L. If the icon matches your weapon's advantage, you turn. You do greater damage, shown as red, da red damage numbers. Ah, okay, I understand now. Use the left.
left and right. Sorry, down and up to swap between party members. Oh, to excel in combat. Assess which party members' weapons and skills work best in each battle. Okay. <laughs> Sweet, here we go. So. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, that's so nice. That was so nice, guys. So, freely just switch between the characters. Just gotta head back across this desert now. The animations of the characters are really nice, so I'm I'm really enjoying this game so far, guys. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and opinions, of course, in the comment section as well. Is this going to be a game that you're going to pick up? Let me know. I don't think it has multiplayer though, guys. Sadly. Maybe they'll add it in. Maybe they'll do an Ever Oasis 2 with multiplayer. I don't think it does. I mean, I could be wrong. Correct me if I am wrong, of course. Sweet! We got level ups, guys! Awesome! When you return to the Oasis after an adventure, characters in your party will get experience based on the monsters defeated. When they have enough experience, characters level up. Oh, okay, so I'm confused because I read somewhere that the level of your Oasis affects the HP of your characters, not unless that's separate, like level is separate to kind of like stats in a way and the Oasis also affects that. I don't know how it works out really. Maybe it was just misinformation that I read. So there we go. Oh nice, we only went up by one though, on all stats. <laughs> How generous. How generous. Oh damn, her stats raised a lot more. Miora, Miora. She's more powerful. More powerful than Ted. Definitely. Here you go, we've got the materials. Woohoo! Thanks! You brought me the goods. I was hoping that'd happen. Gimme, gimme, gimme! <laughs> Call your jets! Call your jets and be patient. I'm the chief after all. Don't be so rude. Mm, ahem, I mean, as thanks, please accept this vulnerary what? To repay you for your kindness. Whatever. I can't say that word. <laughs> Obtains vulnerary. Vulnerary? I think that's right, I don't know. Now I can make a drink thanks to you. I was so thirsty, I darn near passed out. Oh, I'm sorry. We were kind of just enjoying the environment and killing the enemies. <laughs> we took our time on that quest. For your generosity, I'll return the favour and make a whole heap of drinks for you and the rest of the folks here in the Oasis. Sweet. Let's talk to her again. Oh, I forgot the cloth I use for squeezing out cactus pulp and juice. I can't make a drink without it. Hmm. Did we get cloth from those enemies? I'm not sure. If I had a fur ball, yes, we definitely got that. I remember seeing it over at Ostraka Ruins. I'd be able to make new cloth. Oh, okay, we didn't go to ruins though. Avia needs help. So we need a razor tooth furball. Yes, of course we're gonna take it. Oh, I'm so happy to be playing this game, guys. I feel like I saw it at E3. Obviously that was quite some time ago and I was like, I need this game, I need it so bad. I might have been eavesdropping. Are you and Miura going to head to Ostraka Ruins? Yes, we are. He's got a horn as well. Is that part of the head, the headgear, or 
do they actually have horns growing out of their head? <laughs> I don't know. Speculate in the comments section, guys. Are the horns real? That's the true question. <laughs> we certainly are. Would you like to join us, Roto? Oh, so this is Roto. Okay. Sure would. Ostraka Ruins was my old stomping grounds. I'll accompany you guys and help out. My weapons, these bowlers here, I think I said that correctly, will come in handy against the Petra Snatchers. Petra Snatchers? That appear over in the ruins. Roto, join the party. Awesome. Oh, I love this game so much. <laughs> right, so let's go ahead and leave and head over to the ruins, guys. Right, I can already see why we need to go on the video. Hang on a second, let me just switch character. So I just want to... I'm pressing... Um, hang on a second. Yeah, my special move as Tess is holding down Y. So I just want to see if there's a special move with the other characters. No, Roto doesn't have a special move at the moment. And then Miora doesn't either. I'm just pressing it now and nothing happens, so... That's interesting. Oh, that does so! That does so! This game is freaking adorable! <laughs> adorable! Right. <laughs> I'm having such a blast on this game, guys. And the environments just look fantastic. I feel like, obviously, because it's an RPG type game, the rising is important, so we want to level up as much as we can. So I'm just going to fight pretty much everything along the way. It would have been nice to kind of see how much experience that we're gaining though, because I don't even know like what enemies are too strong to or how much how much I don't know time they are worth, I guess, because if they're weak, then they're probably not gonna give much experience and there's no point killing them. Now on this demo, I don't think that's really important whatsoever because Obviously, all these enemies are going to give you decent experience at the start of the game, so but I do feel like it's probably more important later, not later on. So, um, I switched targets now, I just tapped L, the L shoulder button again. That's all I did. So obviously you don't have to switch character if you don't want to. Um, I, I chose not to with those snacks. <laughs> Those snakes. I will I will switch over to Roto now because we are heading Oh, is this like a Oh it's a boomerang? That's what it is. Well, Kylie means boomerang, so I guess I should be using this character. <laughs> Kylie is an Australian name. You throw me away, I'm gonna come back. There's no getting rid of me. I'm pretty confident we gotta go through that hole to get to the door on the other side. Tess, any ideas? Because I'm fresh out. Gotta use my ability. <laughs> That's what I've gotta do. <laughs> gotta blow away the same! Maybe. Oh, look! I have a really cool special skill I can use with these flowers. Check it out! Check it out! <laughs> I call it pellet. Basically, I transform into a ball and roll around, more or less. Oh, so we use that to transform into a ball and then we can go through the hole. Awesome. Press A near these flowers to make seedlings use specific skills. The skills that can be used vary by the flower's colour. With this flower, you can use the pellet ability. Use the down and off to swap to controlling Roto and press A on the flower. Awesome. Right, first of all, I just want to walk around because there is some stuff over here. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. 
I'm guessing we need someone to keep mine. Because none of our weapons can smash through that. Roto, my man. My boy. Wee! <laughs> And then push the button! Push the button! Open sesame! Ah yeah! Awesome! I don't imagine that the puzzles are going to be dead complex on this, but obviously we can't judge it too much based off the demo. statues by the door. I bet if you use your wind ability, something cool will happen, Ted. The music is awesome as well, guys. Oh, hello. Enemies. Petra Snatchers. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly. Eh, leave them to me, Tess. My bowlers are effective against these pesky I'll take care of them so we can press on. You shall not pass! did actually take a little bit of damage there, guys. Yeah! Puzzle solved! Open sesame! Show me the treasure. Show me the treasure! <laughs> there better be treasure in here, just saying. Is there going to be a boss? Coming up, maybe. Ah, I thought so. I thought so. We needed everyone's weight. A Stracker ruins. Here we go. Here we go, guys. This is the location. More of a puzzle here, it seems. Okay, let's just have a look around. skill then press A to excavate. Oh, so I was doing it wrong guys. <laughs> My spear is handy for flipping over large objects like these pot shards. Let's give it a shot. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. I want to excavate this hole. Nice. Oh, I can't believe I didn't realise that the first time. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Do I need to... Oh, here we go. Yay! 
Push the button. My teammates can join me. Okay, let's get rid of some of this sound. This skill is not available in the demo. Ah, it is available in the full version of the game. Okay. Teamwork, guys. I kind of don't want to kill it though. How cute is it? Seriously. I want a plushie of it, guys. So bad. A sword is the easiest way to take a razor tooth down, right? So I should be using the main character. We're counting on you for this one, Tess. I have to be careful. Right. Concentration though. Alright, look at yours. We've got a furball from the Razor Tooth for Evia. Nice. I wonder what's beyond this cave. We should plunge its depths at another time. Plunge its depths. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> it sounds like a pickup line, doesn't it? A really bad pickup line. Hey baby, let me plunge your depths. <laughs> But first, we have to get this furball back to Evia. Let's head back to the oasis. Oh yeah, but there was all the stuff in the room that I wanted to use and explore. God damn it. Did my request end up being bothersome? Nah, we took out that beast pretty darn easily, to be honest. Look at me being all cocky. <laughs> Is this? It totally is! It's a fable from a razor tooth! Wow, you're really rough and tumble if you nab this. <laughs> I'm so rough and tumble. Boys better watch out. Are you really giving it to me? Score! I mean, thank you. You're very generous. We received 150 du duodents. I'm guessing that's the currency of the game. Job complete! <laughs> What a nice chief! You seem to be truly dedicated to keeping this oasis running smoothly. I sure am. I sure am. Oh hey, Tattoo! I'd really like to become a resident of this oasis. Yes! New resident, guys! New resident hide! <laughs> I'll work my tail off, promise. Phew, glad I built up the courage to say that. <laughs> Awesome. Evia has become a resident of the oasis. The juice shop can now be grown. It's not built, it's grown. You can now grow the juice shop. It makes sense. Population is now seven. Awesome. Yay, another 
I'm a new resident, I kind of get the feeling this demo is going to end. I don't want it to end. I'm having such a great time, guys. You should grow a bloom booth with Evia now. Tap the bloom booth icon on the touch screen to open the bloom booth screen. From there, you can build bloom booths in the oasis. Okay, uh, yep. Why do I want it? Maybe here? I don't know. Can I go back? I'll just put it there. Juice shop. created a beautiful shop. Oh, it really is growing now. Yay! <laughs> Look at her, she's like, I created a shop. Well, you did, but also I helped. <laughs> Me and my team. Phew, so excited to get cracking inside my fancy new shop. It is super, super fancy. Fancy, fancy. Yes, I am finished. Let's exit. I'm so happy the oasis is lively again. Oh yeah, would you mind paying me a visit later, Tet? Oasis is ready to level up. ka -ching! Right, hang on a second before we do anything. Let's just go through here. Juice shop, let's have a look. Welcome, how about a drink? Chat, I hope the people around here like my drink shop. I hope they do too. <laughs> we had to go questing to create it, so you know, they better be darn grateful. I'm going to make a bunch of my yummy drinks and everybody's going to be happy. Oh, she's so cute. Right, so I'm just going to go ahead and go to the next objective. Pretty. Look, Tattoo, the water is shimmering. I think his name is okay to say, actually. I'm just going to call him Tattoo from now on. The oasis appears to be bring it brimming with power due to the collective happiness of the residents. We feed off happiness. The joy is ours. <laughs> Offering up this power at the base of the spring may make our oasis stronger yet. Let's give it a try. Is this game? This game is like cuteness overload for me, honestly. And I thought Fantasy Life was cute. This is adorable. Level up, nice. Oh, so our HP has increased to 40 and Oasis level is now 4. Sweet. <gasps> wow, the Oasis has grown so much. It's incredible what a community can do when it pulls itself together, isn't it? If we continue to grow our Oasis, there will be more space to protect people against the terror of chaos. Tattoo, together we can protect more of those in need and see our Oasis flourish even further. Awesome. Is this gonna be the end? I don't want it to end. Oh, cutscene. Okay. Um, 
It seems that peace can never go long unchallenged. Chaos has found the oasis and time is running short. The hero resolves to protect those who dwell in the desert by facing, facing the chaos that relentlessly plagues the oasis. We will defeat the chaos, guys. Mysterious settlements of desert folk lie across the unforgiving sea of sand. This looks so awesome. Vicious chaos monsters prey on unsuspecting wanderers. The patient glowing bones of giant sea creatures long past await daring adventurers. So we can like... Are they petrified almost and we can bring them back to life or something? I don't know, that's really cool. And a mysterious figure speaks ominous words. They look creepy. Again with the horns. Are the horns real? <laughs> that's, that's what I want to know. What trials and tribulations await these two? Oh, I'm so excited! You can find out all about the hero and Ezra's adventure in the full version of the game. This is the end of the demo, guys. Thank you for playing. Aww. This was so cool. Well, I didn't do too much exploration on this demo because it is the thing of the full game is literally out in... What date are we on? We are on the 22nd of June 2017 is when I'm recording this and the full game comes out on the 24th so yeah, I didn't want to like explore too much since the game is coming out pretty soon. Obviously, I'm going to be getting it for the channel and I'm probably going to be live streaming it guys so that's going to be super super fun. Hopefully you support this series. Don't forget, if you do want to see more of this on the channel, then it is really important to be liking the videos and commenting on the videos and of course watching the videos as well because I do look at all these things when I decide if I should continue a game on the channel. Fantasy Life was fantastic on the channel. It helped grow my channel. So many of you joined me from Fantasy Life and I do hope that you enjoy this game and that you do want to see more because I've just totally fallen in love with it and I'd love to see it on the channel. But anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed this demo. I think it's been pretty obvious in commentary. My throat hasn't actually been that bad, to be honest, despite recovering from a cold. Um, I do apologise if my voice sounded different, as I said at the start of the video. But yeah, um, it's really, really cool and I'm so excited to play this. But thank you for watching this video, guys. And I look forward to reading your comments down below and, of course, replying to you. Don't forget to subscribe and join Team GGK today and take it easy guys, I shall see you next time.